Repair Order Links Review. There are so many features available while you're writing a repair order, we had to put them under separate links. Let's take a look. These are the links on the left. Now most of these features are automated within the RO writing workflow process to save you time, but you have access to edit them as needed. There are different views to select, warranties, revisions. Let's step through each one. Click the labor view, and these are all the labor services listed on the RO, including the techs assigned to each labor, either your default tech 1 or 2, build hours in tenths, price or labor rate per hour, and extension, the total amount charged to the customer for each labor service. And the labor total is down here. And this is a view only screen. It cannot be printed. Parts view shows just the parts on the RO, in order of part number. We have description, quantity sold, price, and extension, the total amount charged for that part, and the parts total here as well. This is also a view only screen. Now the warranty link shows a warranty selected to print on the RO in addition to the primary warranty that's set up under the repair order and parts invoice setup section. This is just an oil change, so I don't have any additional warranties, but we can add another warranty just click the Add Warranty button. These buttons here add, edit, or delete the master list of warranties. Click the Select button to add the highlighted warranty to the repair order, and we can add additional notes to this warranty if we like, and spell check it, but we'll just click OK. We can add a freeform warranty, a one-time custom warranty, that will print under the Warranty section as well, and it has a spell check too. And these Edit and Delete buttons apply to the warranty we've selected up here. Let's just delete this one. Click the Revisions link and we can view the estimated hours if an amount was entered when the RO was created and the list of revisions made to the RO throughout the job. Each time you revise your estimate and get authorization, click the Add New Revision of Estimate button to add how the customer was contacted, phone number if applicable, who got the revision authorized, and the date and time will autofill, or you can change those if you need to. Adding or subtracting to the beginning estimate and the revised amount. Enter a reason for the revision if you like, and here is another spell check. This revision screen can be set up to pop up as part of your workflow whenever there's an increase to the estimate. Let's just click Cancel. Click the Recommended link. Here would be listed any recommended services and their price if one was entered. Looks like we didn't have an amount for these tires. The recommended services are part of the Rider Repair Order Workflow Wizard right after you select the vehicle. So you can add a recommended service there in the wizard or click the Add to Request button here. And here is that recommended repair in the Repair Order view. Conversely, if a customer decides not to do some work on a repair order, we can delete that repair, and the system will ask if we're sure. We'll say yes. And now, under Recommended, here is that job with a dollar amount. Now, if we wanted to add this air filter job back to the repair order, just click on the Add to Request button, and it will transfer that job back onto the repair order view, including the labor and the parts. Note here, you need to delete the Reason for Service line to be able to move it to Recommended Services. If we just delete the labor or the parts, these items will just be removed from the RO. We can also add a recommendation from the list, but note these will not include parts, labor, and pricing. These Add, Edit, and Delete buttons apply to the Recommendations Master Records. Click the Select button to add the recommendations to the RO. We can add a freeform recommendation if needed, which is a one-time custom entry, and the lead-in text and keyword is optional. It also has a spell check. And the edit and delete buttons here apply to the recommendations listed above. Click the notes link, and here we can add a miscellaneous note and select to print these notes on the RO or not by checking this box. This screen has a spell check as well, and these notes print in their own section on the RO. The marketing link is where we list any letters or postcards that are scheduled to be sent to the customer pertaining to this vehicle. And look, there is a letter scheduled to go out with the recommended services listed, and the recommendation for new tires would be included in that letter. Click the Assign Follow-Up Letter Postcard button to open the Letters window, 
and from this list we can add a new letter to the master list of marketing letters, edit, delete, or change the text in a letter's master record, but let's just select another letter or postcard to send. We're going to send this letter in three days, or we could use one of these preset days or mileages, and click OK. We can click the Remove button, and this will remove the highlighted letter from the To Be Sent list. We can also view sent letters by clicking this radio button. The miscellaneous link displays all sorts of miscellaneous features. Assign a service writer, change the sales tax rate, select a driver for this vehicle, which prints in its own driver's section. The RO is still under the primary customer's name, but we can select who drives this particular car. We can select which telephone numbers to use while this car is at the shop, and mileage. I have my system set up to ask in and out mileage since we test drive just about everything we have in the shop. We can select to print discard old parts or return old parts to the customer and this prints in red type on the technician worksheet and on the RO. Assign a hat number or use it for a key tag number. Put a purchase order number on the RO and here we can select a customer source. The RO date and time can be changed here as well. And this is where you can enter RO discounts, which can be in addition to individual parts and labor discounts, a percentage or dollar amount on parts, same for labor, and supply charges are set up with the system default, but occasionally you might want to increase your percentages or put in a manual charge and if you have any of those customers who just won't pay a supply charge, just put a zero in the manual charge and it will clear supply charges out. And if the customer is set up for the MaxBucks Customer Loyalty Rewards Program, you can uncheck this box and this RO will not earn nor apply any MaxBucks for payment. The summary link is a view of the subtotals for each section of the RO and this screen is also view only. Click on the Parts on Order link to view the parts that have been ordered for this RO using the Purchase Order function. It lists the Purchase Order number, status, how many were ordered, and when the Purchase Order is received, the Receive quantity is updated, the Vendor Invoice is entered here, or an amount will be listed on Back Order. The Purchase Order details are listed down here, who it was ordered from, and last, the Checklists. Here we have listed the checklists selected for this RO. We can add another checklist to this RO, and here again are the buttons to make changes to the master list. Check the Show an Active Checklist Templates box to view any deleted checklists, and we can right-click on one to undelete it if needed. And after the technician has filled out their checklist, click the Edit button and check off OK or Needs Attention for each item and we can enter a specific note for that item or just enter notes up here that will print at the top of the checklist and a spell check. Then we can check the completed box to mark the checklist completed and click OK. Now the checklist will be marked yes in the complete column and we can print the checklist out when we print our invoice. And one other note here at the bottom. This is where we can lock the original estimate amount and add revisions if this amount changes. The revised estimate will show on the box below and note you can unlock and relock this amount if needed. And this concludes the lesson on Repair Order Links Review.